Yo, if you don't know, now you know. You rocking with Yummy Pro. Bananga ye ezangulu na yo. My dear brothers and sisters, let us ask our Lord Jesus Christ to look lovingly on this child who is to be baptized, on her parents and godparents, and on all the baptized who will respond to these petitions. Lord, hear our prayer. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe this child in light, give her the new life of baptism, and welcome her into your holy church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Through baptism and confirmation, make her your faithful follower and a witness to your gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lead her by a holy way of life to the joys of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Make the lives of her parents and godparents examples of faith to inspire this child. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep her family always in your love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Renew the grace of our baptism in each one of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. To this short litany, we'll respond, pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. All holy men and women, pray for us. Almighty and ever-living God, you send your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, spirit of evil, to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness and bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child. Set her free from original sin. Make her a temple of your glory and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with her. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior. May he strengthen you with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My friends, we now ask God to give this child new life and abundance through water and the Holy Spirit. The prayer that follows is the blessing of the water in the font. Father, you give us grace through these sacramental signs which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in the sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness, the waters of the great flood. You made a sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, Go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for her the fountain of baptism by the power of the Spirit give to the water of this font the grace of your Son you create a man in your own likeness cleanse him from sin in a new birth to innocence by water and the Spirit we ask you Father with your Son to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font may all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to newness of life we ask this through Christ our Lord Amen, Amen. My dear friends, parents, godparents, you have come here to present this child for baptism by water and the Holy Spirit. She is to receive the gift of new life from God who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring her up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives her is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in her heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, Renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin. Profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. As the parents and godparents renew their baptismal promises, we're all invited to renew our baptismal promises. We respond to these questions with a hearty, I do. And so I ask you, do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. 
and all his empty promises. I do. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. And so I ask you, parents of Sabrina, is it your will that Sabrina should be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all professed with you? <laughs> Sabrina, ya te bautis a nom de et tu fils, et tu saint esprit. My sister. My sister. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Amen. Sabrina, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. See in your white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you. By word and example, bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Amen. <laughs> brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. She is to walk always as a child of the light. May she keep the flame of faith alive in her heart. When the Lord comes, may she go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. The Lord Jesus made the deaf ear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word in your mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God the Father. Amen. We continue our celebration of the Mass by preparing the altar and preparing ourselves for the offertory. Our offertory hymn is number 650. O oh, breathe on me, O oh, breath of God, number 656. <laughs>
Si je te laisse une minute, tu seras fini Je t'ai jamais laissé Même quand tu me sens loin de toi Même quand tu as l'impression que je suis loin de toi Je t'ai abandonné En réalité je suis près de toi Je suis toujours là pour te secourir Je suis toujours là pour te faire du bien Je suis toujours là pour te protéger Personne ne te protégera mieux que moi voilà pourquoi Seigneur, aujourd'hui je dis Ebenezer, jusqu'ici depuis ma naissance, jusqu'ici tu ne m'as pas laissé. Toi qui es en train de fêter ton anniversaire, profite de cette occasion, dis Ebenezer, jusqu'ici, jusqu'à cet âge, le Seigneur t'a secouru. Il y en a qui sont morts lors de leur naissance, mais toi le Seigneur t'a secouru. Merci Jésus, merci pour ta présence, merci pour ta fidélité.